Welcome to Equine Photo School. One of the things that I love dearly, it's near and dear to my heart, is systems and processes. And part of that is our file structure and that fits nicely into that. I've created this file structure to like be the core of my systems and processes and everything else kind of builds upon that. Part of the reason why we want this file structure is so we have a system that operates smoothly, efficiently, and we can teach it to our employees and our staff. No matter what it is, we use this same system, the same file structure for everything. I list my art in there, I have different clients in there, I have different, you know, if I have a side project come up, I'll put that in there. Everything fits neatly and tidily into this system and then everything is easy to find going forward. Three, four, five, six years from now, I'm still using the same system. Think about your hard drive as a big file cabinet, right? And as you pull out a drawer, that is like your first like parent folder, okay? And then you're filing through there, looking for a file folder. You look in there, there might be another folder in there, and the list goes on and on. They could be in alphabetical order, they could be in numerical order. You are putting it in there and you're organizing it in a way so you can look back later and you can find it. So we're taking that same system and we're bringing it in the computer. So today we're gonna to talk about hardware and software that I use to make this whole thing work and function properly. I'm gonna take you through the whole process, so let's get into that. Before you even start building anything, before you've made your first folder, I want you to think about what are your goals, okay? My goals for my system is it has to be easy, it has to be simple, and it has to be like fast and streamlined. And I need to be able to teach that to my employees because I'm not there to hold their hand for very long. If it takes up too much space in your brain, then it's not gonna work for the long term, right? After you have millions and millions of pictures and files and other weird, you know, audio and video and whatever, this system fits everything. So I, I have approximately three million photos in my hard drives plus countless other files and who knows what else, uh, but that's all in the same system. It all works within the same structure. This is the latest hard drive for Oli's Images, Oli's Images 18. So when I double click on that, I wanna open up another finder window here. I just double click another hard drive, open that up, same thing. It just opens like this so that they're both visible on the screen. First level is some major categories, right? So we have Adobe Illustrator add-ons, uh, we have art, we have customers, we have equine photo school, events, so on and so forth down here, okay? So what I do is like, if we're shooting events, which most of you guys are, then you're gonna have an events folder like this. If you're shooting private sessions, you're gonna have a customers folder, okay? or you name it whatever makes sense to you, obviously. Uh, but here's my events, and then I put them in by date, and then that way they were in order. And if you wanna make this bigger to see them all, this is how you see them all. So let's say that we were at the Ruby Buckle in Memphis, okay? So we could go there, and within that folder, I put one that starts with an exclamation point so that it stays at the top and then that's your customers folder. So we put exclamation point customers, that keeps at the top, exclamation point magazines. So when we're dealing with magazines, we're sending photos to magazines, those have their own structure in there. And producers get theirs. And then we just have the futurity in the open. So that's the only two events that we ran that during the Ruby Buckle Memphis. So if we went into futurity, for example, we'd had first go and second go. Within first go, we've got it broke down into runs of 25 or less runs in a group here. So one through 25 there, and now we're into pictures. So that does sound like a lot when, you, you know, when you're looking at it like this, uh, but really it's quick, it's easy for your crew to, to dump pictures into there and make it short and simple. Okay, so this is the structure. This is the file structure that we're gonna use. So when you are starting an event, we just make this first folder Okay, now let's fulfill an order using this system. I'm gonna show you how to do it with the paper order, but it works the same way if you have an online order. I'm just gonna draw a name out of the hat. We have an order here. We are on all these images 17, uh, but let's look at events here. And we go down to Texas Championships right there, and customers, 
and then we're gonna do shift command N for new and then we're just gonna do last name comma first name here I put them in last name first name just the way I like things as you can see that we didn't sell very many pictures at this event we do the same thing go to events we try to keep everything together the best we can so Texas championships okay now go to search and we're gonna type in the four digit file name of the photos and that's all we write down in the booth. That's how we keep track of what photos go with what person. So now we go through here and we'll type in 0234, 0234 and we'll see that this has a lowercase JPEG. That means that it is already in this customer's folder. Let's just click on this one here because this one shows down here at the bottom that this is Texas Championships and this is the nine and a half mega bucks round two and this is the photo that this customer wanted on mac we're going to hold the option key and we're going to click and drag and you'll see that green circle with a plus sign in it that means we're going to copy and we're going to drop that you'll copy it there and then you'll see a new one populate here so if we click on that you'll see the file structure goes texas championships customer folder last name first name there that is that one right there and that just shows up in our search because that is in the main Texas Championships folder, okay? We're gonna grab two photos here because this customer ordered two. 0356, 356. This is the photo they want. <laughs> so this was a whoops where the strobes didn't fire here but the customer still wanted it. This is one of the reasons why I never cull any pictures. I don't delete pictures. We're just gonna fix it up for the customer and send it on the way. Uh, that doesn't happen very often, but hey, here we are. This is this is how it goes. When it does happen, a customer for sure is gonna want it. <laughs> so we're gonna hold Option key, select, click, drag, and then drop it right there, and then boom, there's our two photos over here in this new customer's folder. We're going to drag and select both, and then we're gonna right click, open with, other, and then Lightroom Classic, Lightroom Classic. This is how we get them imported into Lightroom quickly and easily without having to go back into Lightroom and find the pictures again and going through all that file structure one more time even though it is fairly succinct and easy. We see that they're both check marked. We're gonna hit import. I'm just gonna go through this real quick. If you guys want a Lightroom tutorial, go watch the other videos on Lightroom tutorials that I've done. They're free, they're easy to access. We'll just do socials here. This saves it in the original photo as social media. I changed all these things. So take a screenshot or go watch some other videos that I did to show you how to set up all this stuff. We're going to watermark this and bottom right, all these images bottom right, hit export. And then up here, it's gonna show you that it exports. We're gonna click on the finder again, go over here. Now you've noticed that these photos that we selected here have a new folder within our customer's folder. And this is social media, just like we had defined it as earlier. We click on here, hit spacebar to preview, and there's my little logo down here in the corner. Now we can just drag these and text them to the customer, make it simple, make it easy. Okay, here we are in Carbon Copy Cloner. This is really, really simple, guys. We're just going to connect our hard drive that we're using right now. So Oli's Images 18, and then connect another one called Oli's Images 18 Copy. So we have the source is the first one, the destination is the second one, and you just choose these as you set up. It's really simple and easy to set up. You're gonna copy all files, have safety net turned on. If you want an email notification, great, no problem. The schedule though is the important thing is run on disk appearance. What that means is once they're both connected, this program will just run in the background. And you just do that for all of your different hard drive. All you gotta do to back up your hard drives is plug them both in at the same time. It gets no easier than that. Okay, that's it. No matter how big or small your company is, having a system in place is just gonna make your life easier moving forward forever and ever. So I use this system today. I use this system for the last eight plus years. It's just worked, it's been so nice. I've been able to train my booth crew how to use the same system, it works flawlessly. And we've had little to no trouble fitting all of the crazy things that we do into this system, no matter what type of event it is, uh, no matter what type of photography I'm doing. It all works, it all fits in the system. There's gonna be some resources, I'll give you links to all this stuff so you don't have to go and do your own research. I just did it for you, it's simple, it's easy, it's clickable. Just trying to help you out here.